Hi, this is Mike Littman. I'm present founder and CEO of Mike's International. Once upon a time, there was a greatest tycoon on this part of planet and he decided that I would like to invest my money in some greatest country so he decided to invest his money in the United States so he took all his money and he invested over there but he had one problem he was not fluent in speaking English even he was not able to understand English while he was he landed in the United States and once he was over there so he had a problem in ordering his meals so one of his friends his host he given him an advice that why don't you learn English and uh, here because you gotta stay over here for more than two months so you need to learn English at least you need to learn to communicate and you need to learn how to order your meal because you gotta survive over here so he said okay and he hired one interpreter and he talked to the interpreter yes I want to speak English I want to learn English but remember few things I don't want to speak wrong English I don't want to be listened wrong by the people I want to speak just perfect English I don't want to feel any kind of embarrassment that I am known to the people that I can't speak English and so please tell me a few words because I want to order my meal and he said okay I can tell you three words and once you're the restaurant you can order these three things and you can eat it up and he said okay and he told in three words hamburger french fries and coke because he was not able to speak English he, he was not ready to speak wrong English and he started to cram these three words hamburger french fries and coke hamburger french fries and coke and he was cramming like a kid and very next day when he was at the restaurant and the lady waitress came and she said what would you like to eat on your breakfast and he ordered the three meals hamburger french fries and coke in lunch he was a, he was at another restaurant and he ordered again for three things hamburger french fries and coke and for dinner he ordered the same meal hamburger french fries and coke and he was ordering the same meal for his breakfast lunch and dinner and after a month he came back to the interpreter and he said hey and he was crying with the pain he told the interpreter hey I don't want to order the same meal again because I have messed up my stomach I was eating hamburger french fries and coke in my breakfast in my lunch and in my dinner and sometime I was eating the same stuff in my supper time so I want you to tell me please tell me three more words because I want to change my order I want to change my meal he said okay I can tell you more words but he said remember again few things I don't want to be listen wrong English I don't want people to listen that I'm speaking wrong I don't want to go through all kind of embarrassment so please tell me three words and so I can change my meal and I can uh, give that order in my breakfast is it okay and he told him three words egg toast and juice he crammed again egg toast and juice egg toast and juice and he crammed three words very next day when he was at the restaurant for his breakfast a lady waitress came in she said hey sir how will, well, what would you like to eat on your breakfast we have different recipes and he, he said okay I need to eat egg she said okay sir we have different kind of eggs we have omelet we have a French fluffy uh, French uh, uh, fluffy egg and we have different kind of omelette eggs so what kind of egg you would like to eat and he said no 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 because he was not able to speak wrong English and he was not communicating with him he was not able to speak even a single word wrong and he was looking at the people and people were looking at him and he changed the order he said no 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 I need to eat toast she said okay we have different type of toast so what kind of toast you would like to eat we have French toast we have rice toast we have a different type of toast so what toast you gonna order she he said oh no 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 I would like to drink juice she said okay sir we have different kind of juices we have uh, tomato juice we have a shakes we have cocktail so what kind of juice you would like to order and he said no 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 hamburger french fries and coke he was not able to try he was not trying for new things. this is what happens with us we don't love to try new things and we try to settle with the old things and the old stuff in our life if you don't try you never get failure remember failing is a part of the game you only learn once you fail failing has a lot of messages for you failing has a lot of motivation for you failing gives you a goose bumping motivation but what's your job is to don't camp around your failures because the failures is a part of game it's a part of your story so let the
failures happens in your life and but your job is to learn from your failures. Roger Bannister, he was failed in 1952 in Helsinki Games. He was failed very next day when he was picking at the newspaper and he was he wanted to take a cup of coffee in the breakfast and he looked at the newspaper and there was a headline Roger Bannister failed six and a half million people read that news that Roger Bannister failed even the billions of people knew that you are the failure story that you failed don't get worried don't camp around such failure try to learn from it because you only learn when you try so people don't try in their life if you don't try you never learn and you know never learn it means there would be no progress in your life and if there's no progress there would be no momentum there would be no development there would be no future there would be no life there would be no self-fulfillment in your life so get ready to fail I love failing so now I'm living up to you that how many times you gonna uh, fail in your attempts in your efforts so have fun take care bye bye